Hi everyone. Everyone who's going to be joining us for the live draw along workshop on the Derwent's YouTube channel in a couple of weeks' time. This is your um, guide to transferring your line drawing. So, what I've done is I've printed off mine is this is on an A4 sheet of paper, so approximately 8 by 12 inch. So, I've printed off my reference photo as well because I'll be working from that one on the actual workshop day on the 10th of July. I printed that onto matte photo paper, so there's not any shine. Um, glossy paper will give you an even better printout, but obviously I'm, I'm working under lights and a camera on the day, so I need my non-reflective. The best way for transferring your line drawing is we don't want any contamination from graphite transfer paper or anything like that. So the best thing to do, and this is going to take a little bit of while to transfer over because it's quite in detail and don't panic either because we're not going to get it finished in the actual session on the day um, but I will be doing some follow-up live streams to enable us to bring it to completion okay so the first thing that you need to do um, obviously print off your reference photo um, mine is printed to the same size as my line drawing so then I can match things up make sure things are aligned um, and basically it just, it just makes life easier you can work from a tablet or a screen if you need to zoom in but we're, we're not getting too detailed on this this is about working with the negative space it's about more what is black and what you don't touch and what you don't put a pencil on so to transfer your line drawing over, we don't want to contaminate it by using any kind of transfer paper like graphite paper or any coloured paper. So the best thing to do is to actually use one of the pencils that we're going to be working with on the tutorial itself. And as we're only using a white and a black, and the black isn't going to show up if we use it for transfer, we're going to lightly glaze our white pencil across the back of the line drawing and then use a stylus to transfer the you know, impress the lines, indent the lines and impress them through. So print off your line drawing onto cheap copy paper. I think mine is 75 GSM. If you print it onto thick paper you can have a real problem getting a stylus to transfer the lines through. So the first thing I'm going to do is flip it over and then you can see there I can see my lines. Um, so it's kind of in negative, um, it gives you a really nice finish, but if you have your reference photo there printed as well, we don't want to be drawing all of these lines in, these fine lines, we want to be using our pencil to do that. So we're going to work just inside the outer edge, just marking in quite a zigzaggy line coming down here, just marking in the rough lines, just to give us guidelines basically to work with on our drawing, just to get us started. So flip your paper over and you can see the outside edge lines there. So all you do, pencil on its side, we want to get a nice foundation of pigment. And you won't see this going down, you'll just know it's going down. You just want to lay pigment down over all of that area. Okay, so I know that I've done that stripe down the outside. If you want to test it, which I'm going to, literally just lay that line down. I'm going to lay it on my outer edge because that is my border edge anyway, so I won't be drawing. I've left myself a nice little half inch border all the way around my mount board so that I can, if, I, if it turns out okay, I can then have the option to frame it. Okay, so just to test it out, um, I'm just going to come over and just test a couple of lines over there. Decent pressure, and I can see that that pigment is just showing there. It's only just showing, but that's all we need is a nice light outline. That is just enough pigment coming through. We can increase the amount of pigment on the back if you feel that you need to. And so that is what we're going to do. Flip it back over and then just simply continue. So, so I will do, I will come in here now and I'll just lay another layer of pigment down over there so then we know we've got a good saturation. Okay. And that's all we're going to do all over. So everywhere that I can see marks 
the dark marks showing through from my line drawing on the other side, I'm going to add pigment to it. Okay, so I'm going to continue to do that. I'll speed the camera up and then I'll come back to you when we're ready to use our stylus to transfer our line drawing across. Okay. Okay, happy that I've got that all in place. So now I'm just going to lay down my line drawing and fix that down. And what you want to do is literally only fix it across the top. And I'll show you exactly why in a second. So let's zoom in. I'll start us off again, the same as I did with the white pencil on the back of the paper, showing you how to do the transfer, and then I'll speed up again and join you at the end. Okay, so couple of test lines first of all. So let's come in and just mark out around that real heavy eyebrow there. Okay. Okay, so we flip up and we can see line is transferred nicely so I know I'm happy with my pressure and the amount of pigment that I've got on the reverse hopefully I've not missed any areas <laughs> so that's all we do to carry on and that is why you don't fix your paper at the bottom um, you can carry on flipping back up all the way but just remember when you're transferring keep an eye on your reference photo as well because here in the eye I can see I've got like a line just coming around there. That's not really showing on here, but I just need to be aware of it. So keep your reference photo close by as well when you're doing your transfer. Same as you can't quite see your highlights in here, um, but we know that it is there. And it'll just keep you on track nicely. So I'm just going to mark that in. Remember this doesn't need to be exact. Don't put pressure on yourself, undue pressure, to make sure everything is absolutely perfect. Okay, so we'll flip this up. As long as I'm happy, then what I'll do is I'll speed up and I'll join you at the end once I've got all of this mapped in. So there you can go. You can see that's transferring through nicely. So I will do all of the rest um, on high speed and come back to you when we've got the whole thing transferred.
Okay, so that is pretty much our line drawing all done. I'll just zoom in once more. So there you can see. I've put in a proper, possibly more detail than I normally would. And that's mainly obviously because this is going to be for the live workshop. Um, so what I will do now, I'm quite happy now that I can remove this. If you want to leave it, if you've taped yours down, you could just fold it up out of the way. And then if you need to bring it back down again, you can. But um, I'm quite happy. Oh, actually saying that, I've just spotted one more little line from the reference photo that I'm just going to mark in. And it's just there. It just gives me that other side of the nose, the width of the nose there. But everything else, yeah, more than happy. she says. <laughs> but again, you can carry on putting in as much detail as you want. So there we have our line drawing all ready to go, ready for the live workshop. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. Um, if you're not doing the workshop, at least this might have helped you to learn how to transfer onto black paper um, without using transfer paper. So thank you very much for watching. Um, please do remember just to hit the subscribe button down in the right hand corner before you go and I shall speak to you all again soon.